Come on, Finn, did the ritual work or not? I've pinpointed another Alluvian. It's in the Dragonbone Wastes. The Tevintas probably moved it there to see if the ancient Dragonbones could enhance the Alluvian's power. Oh, the Dragonbone Wastes. Hold on, I've been to the Dragonbone Wastes. I saw no mirror. It might be hidden. Or only appear to those who know its location. Convenient. Convenient to the plot, obviously. What do we do when we're there? We examine the mirror. It might give clues to what Morrigan's doing. If she's looking for the Alluvians as well, she might even be there. Shall we? Yeah. Let's do it. Alright. I feel like we're close to finding Morrigan. There, the dragon bone wastes. This ancient graveyard where dragons once came to die is where an ancient alluvion is hidden. And now we are back to a Dragon Age Awakening location. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool that you get to revisit all these places again, you know, before you say goodbye to Dragon Age Origins. Oh, I remember this place. This place is creepy. We're here. Keep your eyes open for dragons and mirrors. Yeah. Perhaps the dog needs some privacy? Nah, he does this all the time. He's fine. Oh, dragons. And cultists. What are cultists doing here? Show me what you've got. What the heck are you guys up to? Alright. I mean, they're not even wearing any armor. They're just... I kind of feel bad just taking these guys down. Because they're kind of defenseless. On your go! But, yeah, that was that was a dragon worshiper before. Not much for small talk, are they? Why would anyone worship a dragon? Dragons are big, powerful, and they breathe fire. Some people are easily impressed. That's true. All right. Oh, whoa. Whoa, cultist mage. That's the first thing. First thing. Yeah, we... Oh, don't stun me! Okay, the first thing we need to do is take down the mage. If I would stop being stunned, that would be even better. Here, crushing prison. Oh, no you don't. You're not healing yourself. Let's get started. There we go. Oh, Finn. Finn, Finn. Finn. You need to group heal. And you need to life ward her and throw up a generation while you're at it. And a heal while you're at it. And Only one shall you need to Dance. not get killed by the drake. Is an ugly oh, boy. Oh. I need a Mabari Crunch stat. Uh, double baked Mabari Crunch? Oh, great. Fine, I fine. I don't condone violence, just so you know. Uh, gotta keep you guys healed. Right. Group heal. Give me more Lyrium. Here we go. Gotta take you down, Drake. Right. So many Is that traps. All you got? Come on. I'll do it. Keep it up, Finn. You're good. Woo! That was a good fight. They'll never know what hit him. On it. Drake scale. Oh, Master Wade might want some of these again. I wonder how Master Wade and Hren are doing. Oh, poor cultist mage. Let's get started. I don't know why it looked like he had something, because he definitely didn't. Alright. Chests and traps and traps and chests and yeah, look at all this stuff. No wonder these guys didn't want us coming around here. They've got a lot of loots. Like an insane amount of loots. 
Okay. Sorry, Finn. Poor guy. He was afraid to, like, come out. Come out outdoors and then he gets caught by a bear trap. That's. That's unfortunate. Cultists? Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Like, it's bad enough that I have to take down your friends. You guys are just not gonna learn. There you go. I mean, we didn't have much of a choice. Alright, not gonna open that. This one, however, we can open. As you wish. Dragon Bone Cleaver. Hmm. It's nice, but there's no slots. Hey, I want. Oh, you need injury kit. Yeah. Perfect. All right, we're coming for you, Mori. Now what? What is that? Uh oh. Uh, a Vartero? It can't be. They're only legends. Um. It is said they were rock and tree, wind and rain, given form and breath by the elven gods to protect their people. Okay. To protect their people? Then why does it look like it's going to eat you? Yeah, we're not gonna test that theory. We're just gonna we're just gonna kill it. Alright. Uh onward. <laughs> Alright, um Death Hex. Victory shall be mine. Vulnerability hex. This should be easy enough. Affliction hex. Misdirection hex. Come on. We can do this, we can do this. We're already taking it down by several chunks. What the heck are you doing? Oh my gosh, Drakes. Are you kidding me? Fine. Uh, focus on one, though. Focus on this one. This should be easy. Oh, I was trying to shatter that dragon. It's alright. Oh boy. Oh, I'm stunned. Stunned, stunned. Alright, time for a Mabari Crunch. And you should get some health poultices. Because we've got plenty. Should probably throw your Mabari Crunches onto the board, onto the uh, taskbar. What is your command? Okay. Yeah. We need to get rid of this dragon. Can. Oh boy. I'll try my best. Finn, snap out of it. We need you badly. No, no. No, no. Oh no. Yeah, Angelus, heal Finn quickly. Because he's like our only healer that can resurrect. Um. Good gosh. Group heal. Vulnerability hex. Uh, give an affliction hex. You should get more. Point me in the right direction. I will strike you down. All right. Uh, life ward. I'm not gonna chance it. I'm gonna give Finn a life ward because I don't want him to die. Let's make this quick. Because he is literally the glue that keeps us together right now. All right. Misdirection hex. All right. Ready to make hit. Whew. <laughs> Come on, Finn. I will you. Oh, Finn! I hate it when that thing does that. All right, now we've got more dragons. What's your command? Oh. Gosh, I've got to heal Finn. Finn, please don't die. Uh, Master Stamina Draught. Finn, 
Please don't die. Greater health poultice stat. I'll try my best. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. You know what? Cleansing aura. Okay, guys, guys, one at a time. Fight this one. Yeah, I think it is. Right. Ooh, ooh, ow, ow, ow. Group heal, group heal, group heal. Come on, Finn. Take down that dragon, guys. Good, good, good. Take down the last one and we're home free. Uh, have a double dig, Bombari Crunch Boy. I'll try my best. Oh, I hate when you do that. Eat, eat the Mabari Crunch. Okay. Um. Oh, this only cures diseases. It cures injuries. They don't actually heal. I forgot. Can I use? I don't remember if I can use health poultices. Oh, I can. Okay. All right. Time for a little clean. All right. Um. I was confused as to what those crunches did. All right. Finn's almost... Finn's gonna die if I don't... If I'm not careful. Okay. Uh, throw up some hexes. Right. I'll try to make something explode. Yeah, you keep doing... You do that, Finn. Please do. Here, have some more potions. Come on, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Finn, throw up a uh, group heal. And then give yourself a life, a life ward just in case. Angelus, devour that punk soul, please. Thank you. Heck yeah. Down, down. Whew. That, ladies and gentlemen, was my first time killing a boss on Nightmare. I'm pretty happy about that. Achievement unlocked. Varteral's fall. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Crazy. Okay. Still not as difficult as last boss in Golems of Amgarak. Still not nearly as difficult. And that was a nightmare, so it definitely wasn't as difficult as the Golems of Amgarak boss. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is where the mother was. There's the Illuvian. Yes, I'm here. Ready when you are. Hey, I see. <gasps> it's more again. <gasps> Mori. More again. The mother of my child. Luvian. And it's glowing. We should. Let me handle this, Finn. Ooh. I think she's expecting you. Yeah. Ask her about our book. Will do. Oh, looks like Sky's happy to see Morrigan again. Awesome. No further, please. One more step and I leave. For good this time. Come on, Morgan. We haven't seen each other in how long, and that's the first thing you say to me? <sighs> I guess I shouldn't have expected any... I sh shouldn't have expected any less. Hello to you too, Morgan. I assume you know what this is. 
I have gone to great lengths to find and activate this portal. Give me reason and I use it, and you will not be able to follow. The Alluvions are portals? To where? To another place. Beyond this world and beyond the Fade. But this portal can only be used once more. Achieving even this much was... difficult. I remained to see if it was truly you. I had to know. Tell me, why did you come? We were friends once more again. So, you chase me all this way to... offer help? I will never understand you. And you will never understand me. I won't understand unless you help me to. I... would not even know where to begin explaining. Yeah, this is... this is... this is the number one question in Angelus' mind is his kid is his child his kid his son or daughter whatever it happens to be tell me where the child is he is safe and beyond your reach he all you need to know is that the child is an innocent he knows nothing of the destiny that lies before him huh so Angelus has a son with Morrigan with the soul of a god the soul of an old god. Beautiful. What is your plan? I want to know. My plan is to leave and prepare the child for what is to come. Such preparation requires time. And power. I must have both if I am to be successful. More than this, I dare not say. Even to you. Uh, this has got to be really tough for Angelus. Um, because... You all know he is a family man, and it's probably breaking his heart that he cannot he cannot be a part of his own child's life. It's probably tearing him apart, and I just feel so sorry for him because you know he had such a loving he has such a loving father and had you know it's I, I feel like he's very upset that he's not able to he's not able to be there for his own child but you know he agreed with the terms with Morrigan as difficult as that is I guess I'd like to believe that if Rory wanted to I'd like to believe that Angelus and Rory might adopt a child of their own but this this specific child is you know is Angelus's actual flesh and blood so it's got to be tough I'm not going to ask why did you betray me because I don't think I don't think that um Angelus thinks that Morgan betrayed him because you know she told him up front what the consequences of that choice of that ritual was and he accepted the terms so all right Morgan I have no more questions it's kind of sad though that this is most likely going to be the last I'm going to see of you then allow me to provide you a warning oh Tis Flemeth you should beware of, not me. Hunt her if you hunt anyone. Flemeth is dead, Morrigan. My mother has tricked her way past death and more. She is no more finished than I am. Great. I thought I knew what Flemeth planned. I thought what she craved was immortality. And yet I was wrong. So very wrong. She is no blood mage. No abomination. She is not even truly human. The ritual was but a means to an end. A herald for what is to come. Dun dun dun. How cryptic are we? How cryptic we are, Morrigan. Dramatic much? Dramatic much? Why? Morrigan, come on, tell me, what's going to happen? Change is coming to the world. Many fear change and will fight it with every fiber of their being. But sometimes change is what they need most. 
Sometimes, change is what sets them free. And is that what you want? To be free? What I want is... is unimportant now. Mori? I cannot tarry longer. The time has come for me to go. Uh, yeah. Angelus is not going to go with Morrigan because <laughs> he knows that Rory would have a fit. Oh, gosh. Rory would find a way to chase him down into wherever it is that portal takes him. And, like, he would just kill him. Personally kill him. <laughs> no, he's not going with Morrigan. However, if you if you romanced Morgan, that's probably a perfectly valid, probably a perfectly valid um, choice. Will I ever see you again, Morgan? Not if you are fortunate. Okay. There is one last thing I must tell you, if you will allow me. I left you a gift. The Dalish book is there. And something you will find of great interest. Okay. Goodbye, my friend. Farewell, Morrigan, my friend. I hope whatever it is you are seeking behind that portal is... going to give you some peace. Okay, so there's the book. We can return that back to Ariane and her clan. And something else. What exactly that something else is? Who knows, folks? Who knows? Let's go. <sighs> Farewell, Angelus. Farewell. Alright, and the game is saving now. Uh, I can't believe it, guys. That's the last time, as far as I know, that's the last time I'm going to be able to LP with, um, with Angelus. <sighs> it's been a great ride. Um, but, um, yeah, that, um, that DLC <laughs> definitely brought on a lot of questions and um, I guess we're just gonna have to wait till later to see what exactly was it that Angelus picked up from Morgan what was this gift that she gave him um, and there's you know there's a lot of things that are obviously on my mind like where does that portal go what exactly is she planning on doing with Angelus' son? What's, what is Angelus' son's destiny? Is it a good destiny or a bad destiny? Because she wasn't very clear on that at all. She was completely ambiguous. Um, and it really makes you wonder, if you didn't go through the ritual, how things would be different if there was no child, there was no godchild. And how that would affect, you know, future Dragon Age games and Dragon Age storylines. We just have to wait and see, folks. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was it was another short and sweet DLC. Uh, I think it was more involved than Golems of Amgarak because you actually got to, you know, travel to different locations. And I liked all the Easter eggs, especially the Anders Easter eggs. And... Um, you know, it was nice to see to see more again. Again, I'd like to believe that um, Angelus' story is still. I, I feel like Angelus is still going to be active in the Dragon Age story, even though I may not necessarily be playing as him. He's probably going to be mentioned a few times, hopefully, um, in future iterations of the game. And uh, I, I really hope that. In the end, Angelus and Rory will be able to live, you know, happily ever after, as much as they can, as two Grey Wardens can. 
I'd, I'd like to believe so. Um, but yeah, thanks again, guys, for joining me through all of Angelus's um, adventures, starting from Dragon Age Origins all through Awakening and all of the DLCs. Dragon Age 2 should be coming up relatively soon because I do want to start it so that I can finish it uh, just in time for Dragon Age 3, which supposedly is supposed to come out at the end of this year. So I'm aiming to start, you know, early enough to allow me to finish it by then. But anyway, thanks guys again for joining me on this, uh, on Angelus's journey from beginning to end. Those of you who, you know, were able to watch from the beginning to the end, and even those of you who, you know, picked and choose episodes here and there along the way. Uh, until next time, folks, we will be hitting Dragon Age 2 at some point. Till then, love yourselves and love each other.